morning everybody it's me Meadow and I am going to do a mask tutorial of a seahorse. I'm not going to paint my face like a seahorse but I am going to teach you or at least try to teach um, how to make a cool seahorse mask. I'm going to use Tropical Paradise Rainbow Cake from SillyFarm.com. I'm going to use um, these oil or these colors right here, um, the greens and the dark blues. So I'm going to load a nice, um, I think this is a, either a half inch or a three quarter inch brush. I can never remember. I would frequently do this with a sponge, but I just feel a little incompetent today. So I'm going to use my brush because I, I tend to work pretty well with a brush. And with a sponge, you have a little less control, especially with a rainbow cake. So here we go. I'm going to make the funny wings first. So with the green on the inside corner of my eyelid, I'm going to push and come up and sort of flip it over so the two dark blues match up. And come up like that. And then I'm going to put the greens together and come up. And then I'm going to put the dark blues together, and I'm just flipping my brush each time so that the colors match up. And this one's going to come down, and the greens are going to load up there, and that one's going to come down. And I'm just going to make some little teardrops right there. Can you see that? I hope so. I'm going to zoom in a little bit now. I I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so there's that side. You can see the variations of the light darks and blues. So I'm just reloading my brush. Do the same thing on the other side. It's the best you can with this brush. Now I'm going to get my brush a little bit more wet and I'm going to load it again with the same exact colors because I'm going to make the um, body of the seahorse. And I'm going to do that right here on top of my head. Now it's hard for me to explain very well exactly what I'm doing, but as you can see, I've just made sort of a swoop with two lips and some points coming around. And, then, and these points are just going to kind of wiggle down the ridge of my nose. And as you can see, they're kind of not really even points anymore. It's just sort of a, a jiggly movement. It's going to fade as it gets to the tip of my nose because I'm just going to pat it out to blend it in just a little bit and blend up. And I'm going to do the same thing right here, just to fill in the cheek and my seahorse face. All right, so we got one side, two sides, and the center. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, brush right here. It's a number, mm, the number is washed off from overuse. <clears throat> what a surprise. Uh, but it's a thick one. This is bigger than a number five. This is probably like a number seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some long thin teardrops. that going down the side and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side without reloading that I handily loaded the brush. I always have better time painting this side of my face than that side for whatever reason but it's okay. I am going to just add a little bit of white to the tips of the points on this thing, this little head if you will. And just a little on um, what's going to be those lips and under here. All right, so I've got this thing going on with that. And I'm going to add a little bit of lightness right around here by kind of just making some sideways blobs that sweep in a little bit towards my nose because that's going to be his little tummy, his little ridgy tummy area. <coughs> I'm going to take a long thin chisel brush and some black paint. I'm using um, 
this is wolf black hydrocolor, and this is um, wolf white. That's what all of this is, which is why it's not absorbing a lot of the um, color behind it, which is very nice. So now I'm going to make that face on this little guy. So I'm going to start out by making his eye. And I like to make kind of happy cartoony eyes. Some of you who know me already know that habit though. Um, and some lips. A little smile. And his horse's chin. So there is his face. Isn't he cute? And we're gonna make his head. They're just lightly outlining the points and then lightly outlining his belly ridges. And these are all supposed to be points back here too. So there is our, our little seahorse's head and body. Now I'm going to do some outlining on his little wings. Very light outlining, very delicate handle. Nope. Nothing heavy. Just going to come out a little bit more. Just like that. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side, and I'm going to try and cover up some of the imperfections that I made on the other side really quickly. Of course, I don't have enough water on this paintbrush at all. Okay, so I finished that side. Now we've got um, the basic seahorse face done. He's pretty cute. Now I think it would be really fun if I add some bubbles to him. So I'm just going to quickly add some bubbles using the same brush I've been using most of this time, which is that big, fat, round one. And I'm going to make the bubbles like this. Just make some little circles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Zoom in there. There you go. <laughs> now it looks like he's blowing bubbles. And you can, um, of course, I'm going to outline this with black. But I want to take a quick second to show you how to cover up to see how nice that side is. I kind of messed this one up a little bit. It was a little too heavy handed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a star. I love stars in general for face painting. I particularly love the smoke and mirror factor that stars can create on a design that didn't go exactly as well as you had initially hoped. I learned about this smoke and mirrors thing. Uh, but I used to do cake decorating we would put sugar flowers on top of things that came out in a way we did not want. And we can add some little dots if you want to. Little dots around stars are nice. And 
Let's see what we got to run on. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So that sort of covers up some little imperfections. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace these little bubbles so they really pop out the bubbles. And I'm also going to do a little bit of eyeliner. Really quick. So it looks like my eyes are in here. That's always a nice finishing touch. It's nice to know a person's underneath all this paint. That's how I outlined the bubble. So it's not even all the way around. It looks like light is hitting it in places. All right, so there's my little um, sea of our space with the little ones and cute little bubbles. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you think it came out cute. Um, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Goodbye.